Okay, this is the setup for momentum and collisions experiment. And we have this rail and two cards. And at both ends, we have motion detectors to measure the velocity and position of each car. And of course, these are connected to our LabQuest 2. And we are going to also use this uh, force sensor to measure the mass of each car before the collisions. Okay, the first thing to do before we start uh, the experiment, we have to connect the force sensor to the lab quest and we will measure the mass of each card. Start with the first one. And what we see, the weight of the card in terms of Newtons, it says 9.75 Newtons. So let's record this. So I'm recording the mass of the first card as M1. Uh, well, it's in fact what we measure is mg, its weight. It was 9.75 Newtons. But we will divide this by 9.81, the uh, g. So it is 0 0.99 kilograms. And put this in here, 0 0.99. And we will measure similarly the mass of the second card. And this time we measure its weight as 10.99. 46 newtons. So the card of the mass of the second card is measured to be 1.07 kilograms. So what we do next, in fact, we will fill out this table uh, and we will have these two cards uh, elastically collide to each other, but the second card we'll have a zero initial velocity, so the second card is at rest initially and we'll throw the first card uh, to the second card. Now we are ready uh, to initiate our collision but before that let's uh, take the positions of each card as zero uh, initially and this is the position of the second card but we have to reverse this and before we take the data now we are ready to make the first collision what we do is we push the data collection button on the LabQuest 2 and we will throw the first card towards the second card in, in an appropriate velocity the first card let's do it Okay, so what we see now, we see the velocity versus time graph of the first card, and this is the velocity versus time graph of the second card. So what we do in here is we have to uh, record the uh, velocity of the first card just before the collision, and uh, velocity of the uh, second card just after the collision. Okay, on the table, what we see is uh, we have the initial velocity of the first card and the final velocity of the second, uh, first card again. And it's the same for the second card. We have to record the initial and final velocities. So when we look at the uh, lab quest, what we do is the initial velocity, as the initial velocity, we will take this velocity just before the collision of the first card, this velocity as what you see here, 0 0.361, and right at, time, at that time, the velocity of the second card, what you see in here, is almost zero. 
So let's record these initial velocities. The initial velocity of the first car is 3.361. Let me record this 0 0.361 meter per second. And of course, I will take the initial velocity of the second card as zero. And then I will record the final velocity of the first card as almost zero here. You see. Uh, when the final velocity of the first card is zero, and we will record the final velocity of the second card. So, at this time, let me record the final velocity of the first card as zero, and the final velocity of the second card as 0 0.370. Here. 0.370 so I will complete the first row of the data table and next what we will do is we will repeat the same thing the same type of collision elastic collision this time with different masses and this time I will change the mass of the one of the cards and maybe the, uh, the other one and we will have different masses and we will repeat this same experiment uh, two more times so at least we, will, we should have and, uh, three uh, different collisions in the first table after you are done with the first table now uh, what you will do in the, uh, the table after that is you will fill out these um, rows, these columns and whatever it says in here, the momentum of the card 1 before the collision and the momentum of the card 2 again before the collision and the total momentum of the system and you will write down the momentums after the collision and you will calculate this ratio. So you'll do these calculations, momentums, you will calculate by using the uh, given values in the first table. In the second part of the experiment, we will perform the inelastic collision. This time, we have these two cards, and again, uh, the first card, uh, the second card, will be uh, initially at uh, uh, motionless, and we will throw the other card, the second card, toward the first card, and uh, at the end of the collision, these two cards will collide and stick together and they will move together so before we start the experiment again let's measure and record the masses of each card in appropriate positions and we will use the same uh, cards as before in the first experiment so the mass of the first card is 0 0.99 and the mass of the second card is 1.0 sorry it will be written here 1.07 kilograms and so in this setup again uh, we will record the velocities of uh, cards before and after the collision as I said this card uh, initially uh, will have a zero velocity and we will throw this card toward the second card and we will record their uh, velocities before and after collision so we are now ready let's make this zero ready to throw the first card toward the second card now after push this let's push and this is the uh, 
velocity of the uh, second car just before the collision and what we do in here and we will record this velocity value 0 0.468 meter per second as the initial velocity of the second card and the initial velocity of the first card is zero because it is at rest and the final velocities of both cards will be the same right after the collision because they stick together and they move together so the value for this is this duration this period of time uh, shows the uh, moment of collision so there is a very sudden sharp decay uh, of the velocities to this final value and here right here after this position the velocity is uh, slowly decreasing so we will take this point as the velocity of the both cards right after the collision so this value is 0 0.225 and we will record this value 0 0.225 as both the final velocities of both cards and we will repeat this uh, for two more times by just changing the masses of cards and we will do the same procedure to record the velocities before and after the collision and the table after this is this one we should fill out again um, in the second table of the part 2 we have to uh, calculate the momentum before and the after the collision of this two card system and here after the collision we have to record the momentum of both cards and we have to calculate also this uh, ratio of the momentum after divided by the momentum before and we will finish uh, the second part of the experiment so in the last part of the experiment uh, it is about explosions that means we have again um, two bodies well of course in explosions you may have more than two bodies after the uh, explosion but uh, in this experiment we have these two cards initially they stick together and they stay uh, motionless so their initial velocities are zero and they are just uh, tied together by uh, in between there is a, a squeezed spring and uh, when we release the spring these two cards will go in opposite directions and they will have their final velocities in opposite directions and we will do this uh, first again by uh, writing down the first mass 0 0.99 as the card 1 and what was the mass of the second card 1.07 okay so the initial velocity for both cards will be 0 of course because they stick together and we will measure the final velocities and let's do this now and now you see these two cards they are stick together and in between there is a squeezed spring when I press this button uh, this spring will, will be uh, released and it will separate these two cards and these two cards will go in opposite directions and it's a, just a simulation of an explosion and before we start one of the uh, position measurements of these uh, motion detectors should be reversed so that their final velocities are in reverse directions so now we are ready let's make this zero also we are ready to initiate uh, the explosion and we have a stick and when we just push this button with the stick uh, and be of course we before that I have to start uh, collecting the data with LabQuest and uh, let me do that now so as I push okay so what you see here now um, before uh, the push 
the spring, you see these both cards have almost zero velocities. And if there is a small uh, difference uh, from the zero, that means because uh, we have uh, one of the sensors is uh, just uh, running in the error uh, range, but these velocities are zero, as you see. So you can easily see that just around this point in time, we have just released the spring and uh, velocities are suddenly changing from this zero value to this value and for the other card also there is you see there is a sudden change in the velocity to a maximum value let's see these values and you can fine tune this time Okay, so right at this time, that means now a uh, spring is uh, completely uh, relaxed, and the velocities for both cars, the magnitude of the velocities for both cars, is at maximum, and you will record, for example, the velocity of the final velocity of the first car as 0 0.467, and this is also the velocity of the second car. Uh, after the uh, just release, uh, after the explosion, 0 0.1463. These velocities are uh, close to each other but in reverse direction. One of them is minus because they are going in the opposite directions. And they are close to each other because their masses are close to each other. If their masses will completely be the same, these velocities you would expect will be very close to each other. Okay. So we'll record these velocities. Let me record these velocities in the table. Here, 0 0.467, one of them, and minus, the other one is 463. Okay? So this is the first run for the explosion part. And again, we will repeat this by changing only the masses of the cards and we will repeat all everything the same and after this you will fill out the uh, second table in the second table uh, all the data values are uh, calculated in terms of momentums the momentum of the first card before the collision the momentum of the second card of course these will be zero right and the momentum of the system before the explosion is zero again and you will fill out this after the uh, explosion and you will fill out the related uh, column and you will finish this part and by finishing this part you will be finishing the experiment and you will be of course uh, there are some uh, more calculations to do for you for example we have to uh, calculate the kinetic energies before and after the explosion and this is the same for uh, the other parts and you will write your report.